With the release of Blender 4.5, we now have an update to Blender's Grid Fill tool, which is a major update because this is an absolutely amazing improvement. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So here I have a piece of geometry that I've kind of deleted this sort of area inside of here. Now this is curved and quite complex. So let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you. So you can go Shift Alt and you can just select the edges to loop select it if you have an X section of mesh that's missing and you can go control F and then just click on grid fill and look what a good job it does, right? So if we were to actually go into Blender 4.4, which is the previous version, I could do the same thing. And by the way, this is just a geometry nodes visualization that I put on here, but it's still the exact same thing. So if I select the edge over here in 4.4, I can go control F and I can go grid fill, right? And you can see over here, it just doesn't do as good of a job out of the box. I have to kind of come here and mess around with it to kind of get it to work like that. Now let's do a little bit more of an extreme example, right? So let me just get rid of this. Let me grab the outer edge of this complex shape here, just to show you guys how this looks. So if I were to duplicate this shape and rotate it, and I'll just kind of shape it a little bit, right? Let's just make it look like this. There we go, right? If I were to grab this, you'd think, can we fill that in? So this is in 4.4, so if I go Control F, I go Grid Fill, you can see it does an absolutely terrible job. But now let's compare with Blender 4.5. So I'm gonna select the outer edge here. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate it. I'm gonna move it over, I'm gonna rotate. There we go, and let's do the exact same thing. Let's just make a, sorry, a very kind of complex sort of shape here. Like this, I'm gonna kind of lift that up. Let me quickly do that. There we go, the exact same sort of thing. And now let's see what happens if I go Control F and I go Grid Fill. Look at that. In Blender 4.5, it does a much better job. I can still come in here and I can adjust. I can rotate, offset, but it actually does a very good job at preserving that sort of shape, as you can see here. So comparing it with Blender 4.4, you can see here, it's got this big dip in here. It just couldn't do a very good job with it. So it's a massive improvement. I definitely recommend you guys kind of play around with it. And um, yeah, so that's kind of been it. And like I said, this um, visualization here is just what I put on so you can kind of see the verts and the edges nicely and just kind of show you how neatly it does it. You can just keep doing it over and over. I can delete sections of geometry. I can just select the edges, Control F and I can grid fill. Now it's different now because I've changed the settings here, but you get the idea. It just does a very clean job and preserves the geometry and topology. So go ahead, try it out. Big improvement in Blender 4.5 with the grid fill. I'll see you guys next time.